Hey, are you physicists? We're going to the next lesson in the, in the modern physics playlist, and today we are going to be talking about the second of the four fundamental forces of nature, the electromagnetic force. Now, in the previous lesson, we talked about the the first one, the first force, the strong force, and if you want to check back on it, I'll put a link here on this video. All right, so um, what is the electromagnetic force? Um, this force is responsible for three kinds of fields, actually. First one is the electrostatic field, and you should be you should be fairly familiar with this from your high school days. Um, the electrostatic field is, or you can call it the, um, it produces the electrostatic force or the Coulomb force. I'm sure this brings back some memories and a certain equation. And um, basically. What this is, is the f what this field is, is a field that emanates out from a positive charge particle or point point uh, charge, and goes into a negatively charged point particle. This is the electrostatic field, and it is created from um, an electrically charged particle. The second field is the oh whoops is the magneto static field and this is basically the same as the electrostatic field just that it occurs with magnets north south and we have the field lines just like the ones above for the electrostatic field with the field lines going from north pole to the south pole all right and and note that there are actually an infinite number of lines going out, field lines going out, but I'm just too lazy to draw all of them. Okay, and then the last one is the electromagnetic field, which gives rise to the, uh, to the electromagnetic force. And it can be seen as a combination of the previous two fields. And the reason why I say this is that, um, as you know, um, when you move an, an electric charge, um, that creates a magnetic field, and a varying and a varying magnetic field in turn creates an electric field. So basically, the electric, uh, the electrostatic field when moving generates the magnetic magnetic ma the magnetic field, and a varying magnetic field generates an electric field. So when when um when you use this when these two field when these two fields complement complement each other they generate the electromagnetic field. And one example of this is the photon, light, or electromagnetic radiation. And I'm pretty sure you've, um, some of you might, might, might have seen this diagram of, of, of light drawn as a wave. You can see it as the electric field going like in this direction, and the magnetic field going perpendicular to it in this direction. So if we were to draw like, the line of the axis, something like that and the electric field will be going up in this direction and the magnetic field will be going perpendicular to it in this direction if you can imagine it like coming out at you and going into the screen and the propagation of this wave would be perpendicular to both of this and going this way it's going in this direction so this is basically light Light is a combination of the electric field and the magnetic field to produce the electromagnetic field and propagates along like so, like that in, that in this direction. Alright, so the, electro, the electromagnetic force jet, um, gives rise to the electromagnetic field. And how does this force, um, how is this force mediated? Because we, we know that for every fundamental force, there has to be some some particle that mediates this force. So, like how for the strong force, we talk about the gluon. So what's the, the mediator here for the electromagnetic force? Well, it is the photon. Alright? And note that this photon is a virtual particle. So it's not an actual photon of light that we see. The only reason why we use, we say that the photon is a mediator of the electromagnetic force is because 
um, is because the the wave disturbance between the electric charges have all the properties of the photon. So to illustrate that point, let's have an electron going in this direction, an electron going in the other direction. Now each of these electrons ha um, gives rise to some disturbance within the electromagnetic magnetic field because it's moving toward it and just like how when you move something through the uh, water it creates some disturbance. And these two, ele um, electro this, these two disturbance in the electromagnetic field interfere each with each other and produces this kind of um, a little disturbance here, this, this pocket of energy in here. And since you know energy is quantized, this can be viewed as a particle. And what characteristics does this particle in between here represent? That of a photon. So physicists say that um, that an ele one electron um, emits a photon, a virtual photon, which is, uh, which is absorbed by this other electron and in turn repelling both them out, repelling them away from each other. So the electromagnetic force is mediated by the photon because the photon is being exchanged between these two particles, these two charged particles. And it's again, I, I'm stressing the point that the photon isn't real, it's a virtual particle. Once it's, once it's done its job, it's gone, it's not there anymore. All right. So yeah, that is it for the electromagnetic force. Just to recap, the, um, the electromagnetic force is, it gives rise to these three fields. And the electromagnetic field, the mediator of the electromagnetic field is the photon. And because the photon is massless, this means that the range of the electromagnetic force is infinite. And if you want to know the reason why, click here for, uh, uh, for a link to that video. Alright, see you guys next time. Peace out.